Okay. Hi, my name is Kane Holder. I'm an educator, artist, and activist. Oh, blogger. <laughs> Um, so my comments on education and incarceration is that uh, incarceration rates and recidivism rates go up for people who are not educated. So the goal would be to not have people enter into the prison system to begin with, because that becomes a perpetual cycle where parents, you know, are in jail, so they're not there for their children, and they're there to supervise uh, homework, and not there to supervise and to instill a love of learning. And so. Unfortunately, especially in a bad economy where there are so few jobs, you know, what are you going to do to support yourself? And unfortunately, some people, you know, end up doing illegal activity in order to get that access to cash, that access to food, to you know, even maybe healthcare or in other, in, in, in some way, shape, or form, a decent way of living. And that's not a part of the American dream. That that's not in our founding documents. Um, a land of liberty and justice for all, and that all men are created equally. Unfortunately, we see disproportionate rates of people who are undereducated, with our black, which are black and Latino, and a disproportionate number of them also are imprisoned. So there's a direct correlation between the two. And as an educator, I am dedicated to making sure that children learn not just the facts, but also engage in their feelings to really not only learn about the rudimentary you know reading writing and arithmetic but about the notion of justice and social justice and how they can restore justice restore their humanity and make a difference in this world to actually contribute back to society in meaningful ways instead of being in a, in a system that just has them caught up in a perpetual cycle of pain um, and instead of power <laughs> thank you